step into my office. It's not much, but it's mine. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Oh, you're no fun. Okay. I've got tequila. I've also just got like pure agave sugar in liquid form, if you want that instead of tequila. I like to drink things. Now I open the uh, drawer with the glasses in it. It was just a preview of where that was. Drink it yourself, Scott. Aren't you thirsty? It's pure delicious mountain water. Straight from Le Top Springs. If you've ever heard of Le Top Springs, it's a very delicious place. Also known as Fluoride Fountains. Classy neighborhood like this, it has to be extra pure. I guess I have to sit down at my desk. Conduct the interview. I'll just loosen my pants first, they're a little tight. Unzip my fly. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside, but he read it and then he left. Last time I of course, the letter contains the uh, locker you key. Think there's a connection between that and then the locker contained the shoebox. You remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. This game, like, it's mysterious, but it also gives you like a lot of clues about what's going on. Alan Winter, there was uh, the father's name. Thank you is my only option. Scott doesn't I, really want to talk to Lauren. I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation? Sure. The more the merrier. The answer is no. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to say yes, actually. But I pressed clear. I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Pointless. There's no way you can help me, Lauren. No, just slow me down. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelley? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. Yeah, that box of origami Wait, figures isn't a good clue or anything. Wait. Or that other phone. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. This guy has more clues than he knows what to do with. find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. So now we're driving somewhere together. We should be trying to determine who owns an old typewriter of that model, maybe. This is a nice house. Maybe you better stay in the car. Got guards and everything. What are we doing here? We come to see Cordy Kramer. Kramer? Big with Tycoon from Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the original killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. 
stupid to bring more. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid old I'm glad he brought Lauren because she's going to spice things up a little in this investigation. She might be selling herself in the parking lot, but that's extra spicy. Got a few cars parked out here. A little gathering of sorts, perhaps. I hear some music playing inside. sapiens and they come in male and female. Lauren's just chilling out on the couch. aggressive by. I'm just gonna go away. I don't want to arouse suspicion. I just want to um, trick them or something. Cause of distraction. This is gonna be good. You These guys are both too like zonked out to be able to fight. I have control over Scott. I can actually walk him right up the stairs. Probably right up the stairs. I have to look where I'm going. Wait. I have to hurry up and get up there. There it is. The guards have left their post. I wanted to spend more time at the party, honestly. If I knew I was close to solving that puzzle, I would have uh, lingered on it a little longer. The rain's still coming down outside. I 
can scope out the party from up here. Chick dancing on table, check. Alright, let's go before he sees me. No one's up at a swimming pool, I don't blame them. Probably better cold in the fall. Nothing there but some rare artwork. Is this the door to the master bedroom? All the girls who are downstairs at the party are so much cuter than these two girls. I don't know why he chose them. He hasn't even seen me yet. I don't know if I should talk to him or like hit him on the head with a lamp. He's watching like a... Uh, something ridiculous. Chicken run or something. Red tattoo Shh! This is the best part! Oh, he's talking to the girls. He's not talking to Scott. What do you want? He's acting mighty guilty. Let's accuse. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now I know you've been arrested in the interior until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I hope his father doesn't make a little phone call and send me into a body bag. Just so I make sure that you have nothing to do with the Oikana killing. So I make myself clear. Get this lot. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about. He offered to drive a kid home, and like later the same day, the same kid was missing. Aggressive. You don't think I'm gonna fall for that shit, do you, Kramer? I know it's not the first time you tried to lure a kid into your car. I also know you were more than a suspect for the police. Now, if I were you, I'd think of something more credible. Otherwise, I'm gonna make sure you have some serious problems. This guy sure, sure has enough money to be the origami killer. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. And I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Too bad I don't have a tape recorder. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? Could you repeat that, this um... interview is over. Down at my house? Get rid of this clown! I'll have to fight the guards. Alright, I'll fight them. I don't want to just go along quietly. They might, like, tie me up in a trunk somewhere. This game has a lot of action. It almost has like too much action.
Was that perfect? I think I got them all. He just nonchalantly walks out. <laughs> I don't get why Gordy would say that if he wasn't the origami killer. I mean, maybe he's just playing with Scott Shelby, but why on earth would you ever say that to someone if you weren't guilty? Why would you say that if you were guilty? Why wouldn't you just like Stay calm and deny it until your bodyguards came to haul the guy away. We're back to Ethan. I'm glad about that. I'm getting a little, uh, tough guy. <laughs> That's the trophy for beating up the bodyguards. to stop playing for tonight. It seems like the action is really winding up, ramping up. Ethan's already been driving some cars up ramps and uh, doing Dukes of Hazard style jumps. And uh, the plot is pretty much established. The origami killer has kidnapped Sean Mars. It's up to his father Ethan to save the day. But the police are also investigating and a private a private detective is investigating, and a mystery woman is doing something, so whoever gets to the story first is probably going to save the boy and become the hero. And, uh, I want to see more Ethan, but, uh, I have to stop playing right now because, uh, I want to save what happens in this scene for tomorrow and, uh, just kind of dwell on everything I've seen so far today because this game is like very rich with uh, stuff. The, uh, the mystery, some of the clues seem kind of obvious, but maybe there's another twist. Maybe all of my inferences are totally wrong in my interpretation of them. It's just like way out there in left field. So I'm just going to have to see. But so far, I love the directing. I love um, everything. I especially love the music and the sound clues. And I like the amount of detail that they put into uh, the background options. They really have just like tons of people walking around and like weather effects and uh, you know stuff happening like billows of smoke shooting out of factory chimneys and uh, they really didn't cheap out on anything. They don't have the same type of like you know low resolution static backgrounds that you see in a lot of uh, games when you wander into an area that isn't important. Like they only bother to like you know detail the things that um, are intended to be looked at. In this game, they detail absolutely everything, and I love that. I love the action, too. I mean, the only thing I don't like so far is I feel like the fight scenes are kind of drawn out, and uh, when you first get, like, a button prompt that you need to pass in order to, like, save your character's life or get him to do something, you get so much, like, adrenaline, you're, like, on a rush. And then that last fight where I was fighting the security guards, I was like, ah, whatever, this again. Because I kind of knew that there were going to be a bunch of button prompts and, like, pretty much the same thing was going to happen no matter what I did because in the fight before it, it was like I passed the prompt and then like I slipped up anyway and then I failed the prompt and then I actually like knocked the guy out which didn't make any sense so I mean if the story changes based on how well you do it doesn't seem to like correspond like on a moment by moment basis with uh, how the action is unfolding and the scene and that's uh, one complaint I have so far about this game but uh I guess it's a small enough complaint because overall I just love the game and I just can't wait to see what happens and uh, after finishing this LP I can't wait to go back and play it again on my own and see how different I really can make the story. So I hope you're enjoying it if you're following it this far. Please uh, well they say like, comment, subscribe but um, I don't even know what that means anymore. YouTube used to have something called a favorite, I don't know if it's still there. YouTube has been overhauled so much over the years that um, I don't know what is and what isn't there. But uh, this video will be there if you're watching it. And uh, 
if I spontaneously combust before finishing this game, then the video won't be there. But, um, either way, I hope you have a good night. May, uh, whatever God you believe in bless you. And please, please, please breastfeed your child. The future of the human race is depending on it. That's it. Rafa, over and out.